Tantalum Castle is a partially ruined fortress that can be found on the East Lothian coast and overlooks the Firth of Forth. The castle was built in the mid 14th century and was the last medieval curtain wall castle to be constructed in Scotland. Tantalon Castle consists of a single curtain wall which is over 49 feet high, nearly 12 feet thick, around 300 feet long and was constructed using locally sourced red sandstone. The wall blocked off a headland which was naturally protected on three sides by cliffs and the sea, so it only required small defensive walls. There were towers at each end of the main curtain wall and a heavily fortified gatehouse in the centre, all of which provided residential accommodation. The North West Tower was used as the Lord's private residence and known as the Douglas Tower. It was seven storeys tall, 39 feet across, and circular in design. The castle was constructed on behalf of William Douglas, the first Earl of Douglas, in the mid 14th century and remained under control of his descendants for most of its history, despite being attacked numerous times. It was besieged by King James IV in 1491 and King James V in 1528 when it was extensively damaged. In 1639, Tantalon Castle was attacked during the First Bishop's War and again during Oliver Cromwell's invasion of Scotland in 1651, when it was once more severely damaged and subsequently abandoned.
castle was sold in 1699 to Hugh Dalry and Paul, the Lord of North Berwick, by the Marquess of Douglas, and in 1924 the castle was handed over to the UK Government's Office of Works by Dalry and Paul's descendant, Sir Hugh Hamilton Dalry and Paul, and is now in the care of Historic Scotland as a scheduled ancient monument. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss another episode of the Retrolab Scottish Borders Adventure.